Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. I'm here with another Mismatch Monday. And this Mismatch Monday is going to be a cross-season mismatch. It's going to be the 1984 Tigers, who didn't spend one single day below first place and finished with a record of 104-58 and and won the World Series. And they will be taking on the 1971 Milwaukee Brewers, who only won 69 games. They were 69-92. and 92. Now, I do have some caveats for this game. Uh, as usual, I'm going to keep the score right here. You can watch the score, look up at the screen anytime and see what the score is. Um, and here is the um, inning marker, marks what inning we're in. But... The 1971 set was a reissued set, which has ballpark and, uh, uh, you know, ballpark effects on the cards. But the 84 Tigers are the original, are from the original 84 set, and they don't have ballpark effects on their cards. So I am not going to be using ballpark effects in this game. We will be going by just what the reading on the card says. So uh, that's a caveat there. Your pitching matchup today is going to be Jack Morris for the uh, visiting Tigers, the visiting world champion Tigers, and on the mound for the quite lesser and further away from the World Series Milwaukee Brewers of 71 will be Bill Parsons. I will go over the lineups as the lineups come up, as usual. And the first lineup to come up is the Tigers lineup, so we'll go over that. Um, the the uh, Tigers will line up as Lou Whitaker leading off and playing second base. The second hitter will be Alan Trammell at shortstop. Number three hitter will be Chet Lemon playing center field. The cleanup hitter will be Kirk Gibson, and he's playing right field. Batting fifth will be Lance Parrish at catcher. Batting sixth will be Barbero Garbay, and he is the DH today. The seventh hitter will be Daryl Evans, and he'll be playing first base. Batting eighth will be Howard Johnson, the hotel man, will be playing third base. And uh, batting ninth is Larry Herndon, the left fielder. So with that, um, let's get underway um, with this game. And Lou Whitaker is the first batter. He's going up against Bill Parsons, the righty. Now, Bill Parsons in 1971 was 13 and 17, but he had a 320 earned run average. So he wasn't bad. We get a 1 9 roll, and that is going to be a ground ball second base. So Whitaker is out. 4 to 3. There's one down for Alan Trammell. And he gets a 3-6, which is going to be a walk. So Alan Trammell is aboard. That is a walk on Parsons' record. And the third hitter is Chet Lemon, the center fielder. And he gets a 5-4 batting right, and that is going to be a catcher card. The catcher for the... Um, the Brewers is a 4E4, and that is a 20. Probably going to be out, and it is pass ball followed by foul out. So the pass ball moves uh, the runner to second. Foul out two. And uh, Kirk Gibson is the batter. And let's put him a little more there. Kirk Gibson up with a man at second and two away. And he gets a 5-6 batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout for Kirk Gibson. Kirk Gibson going down on strikes to Mr. Bill Parsons, and he gets out of the first inning where the Tigers did not manage to get any runs. We go to the bottom of the first where the Brewers are up and I will go over their lineup. They will line up as Tommy Harper leading off and playing left field. 
Um, Ron Theobald will be the DH batting second. And uh, let's see, who is this? I think it's Dave May, yeah. Dave May is uh, batting third, playing center field. Jo um, Johnny Briggs will bat in the cleanup spot and play first base. Paul Ratliff is catching today. He only had 85 at-bats, but he had some power against right-handed pitching, and so he's in there against Morris. Um, Pena will be the third baseman, batting sixth. Andy Costco will be the right fielder, batting seventh. Ted Kubiak is at second. He's batting eighth. And uh, we have Rick Auerbach batting last and playing shortstop. And they will be going up, by set, as I said, against Jack Morris. Hall of Famer Jack Morris. That's a 1-5 against a righty. And that's Tommy Harper is aboard. Now, Tommy Harper, he's got some speed. He gets a, a base hit. And let's see if we want to steal him. Yeah, I think I want to steal him. And that's a four, so nobody in the planet is going to throw him out on a four, so he steals. So Tommy Harper is at second base with no outs, and Ron Theobald is the batter. Now, he was good against righties, so let him hit. He gets a 1-6, and he walks. So uh, yeah, Morris is having a tough time here with this bad Brewers lineup. He's already given up a hit and a walk. And Dave May is the batter. Dave May getting a 5-10 batting left. And that is going to be unbelievable. It's a home run. Dave May has gone deep and gives the Brewers a 3-0 lead here. So Morris has faced three batters, and they've all scored, is really what we're talking about here. So we'll put them back in the dugout. They go back to the dugout, and Johnny Briggs is the batter. Johnny Briggs with a 5-6 batting left, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. That is Trammell. He's a 1E14. That's a 20, and he's out. So Johnny Briggs goes 6-3, and that's the first out of the game for the Brewers. Paul Ratliff is in there because he has power against righties, and he gets a 5-11 batting left, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop, and that is the same deal. And 15, I believe, is probably an out because he's a 1. Yep. So he goes 6-3 as well, and there's two out quickly after the three runs have scored. And that brings up Roberto Pena. Roberto Pena gets a 6-10 batting right, and that is going to be a catcher card. That's Lance Parrish. Lance Parrish is a 1-E-4. That is an 11. And it's going to be on the E-4, so we'll roll for that. That is a 10. And uh, 10 is a ground ball C. So he makes the play down to first base. So Pena goes two to three. And they're out of the inning, but three runs have scored for the Brewers. Incredibly. So let me get the three spot. And the Brewers are ahead three nothing. So the, the Tigers have some work to do. Lance Parrish is stepping in against Parsons. And again, Parsons wasn't bad. That's a 2-7, and that's going to be a strikeout. Parsons strikes out his second man of the game. There's one down. And Barbero Garde is the batter. And he gets a 5-5 batting right. And that's going to be a strikeout. So Parsons is, he's throwing some smoke here, and he ain't letting anybody on. And he knows he can't. Darrell Evans. Darrell Evans with a 4-5 batting left, and that is going to be a fly ball to left field. So he flies out, F7. 
Daryl Evans in there. Of course, he walked a lot. Um, and he was, you know, big for on base. But the uh, Brewers, or the uh, the Tigers come away with nothing in the second. We go to the bottom of the second. The Brewers with a surprising 3 nothing lead already. And they're batting for only the second time in the game. Andy Costco is up. And he gets a 1-6, and that's going to be a strikeout. That's the first strikeout of the game for Morris, although Morris always said he always pitched to the game situation and didn't try to strike people out. He just tried to get them out. 5-7, uh, Kubiak is a switch hitter, so he's batting left, and that would be a strikeout. Morris strikes out his second batter, so he settled down a little bit here in the second, and Rick Auerbach is the batter. He gets a 5-7 and uh, batting right, and that's going to be a strikeout as well. So Morris strikes out the side after having a horrendous first inning. And we go to the top of the third. And in the top of the third, we're going to have Howard Johnson, the switch hitter, uh, facing Parsons. He gets a 6-12, and that's going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. The first baseman for the um, for the Brewers is a 4-E-16. That is a 10. And uh, that's going to be on the E-16. And that is a 4. So that is going to be an E-1. So, we have, uh, who was that? Howard Johnson. That was Howard Johnson? Yep, Howard Johnson getting on by uh, an e, uh, E3. So, he's aboard. Now, Howard Johnson actually could steal, too, couldn't he? He's a B. I'm going to try it. 18, he's gunned. He is gunned out. Even though um, the catcher has a plus two arm, he still would have been out. So, that's one down. And Larry Herndon. Larry Herndon with a 3-8, and that is going to be a walk, and so they really should not have done that. They would have had something going here. And Lou Whitaker is the batter with one down and one out. 310. Now, you've got to ask yourself, can the uh, 84 Tigers recover from that? And maybe they can, but that's a fly ball to right field by Whitaker. And there are two down now with Alan Trammell up. And Alan Trammell gets 2-8, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. So he goes 6-3, and they get nothing in the third. We go to the bottom of the third. Brewers still leading 3-0 here in this mismatch Monday where they are the underdog of the two teams. Massive underdogs. You've got the world champions against a 69-win team. Tommy Harper, we're back to the top of the order, and he got on last time and stole. He gets a 4-11 this time. That's going to be a fly to right. The right fielder is a 3-E-15. That is a 19, probably an out. And it is a fly ball B. And one down and Ron Theobald out. He gets a 3-6. He grounds out to the pitcher. So he goes out one to three. Two down quickly, and Dave May is the back. And he gets a 5-4. Five, 5-4 four. Five, four is going to be a pop-out to third base.
and the um, Brewers get nothing in the third inning. We go to the top of the fourth. Chet Lemon is the batter. They can't get anything going against Parsons here. And he gets a 5-7 batting right. And that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for the Mariners, or for the, uh, for the, uh, for the Brewers is a 3-E-26. That is a 6. And that's going to be a ground ball C. So that's a 4-3. to three. And brings up Kurt Gibson. Kurt Gibson with one down. Nobody on. He gets a 3-7. That's going to be a walk. So the Tigers have a base runner. Parsons walks his third guy of the game. Hasn't given up any hits yet, though. Um, Gibson is a stealing A. He's going to try to steal. They're going to keep trying to do this. He gets an 8, so yes, he makes it. So Gibson is now at second base, and you got Lance Parrish up. You're not going to sacrifice with Lance Parrish, especially with an out. 5-7, batting right. That's going to be a ground ball to second again. He is a... Uh, 3E26, that is a 6. I think that's an out. I think we just did that exact thing. But it's a ground ball C. So the runner goes to third, and there's two out. And Barbero Garbello. It's all up to him to get one run across. And he's going to do it. He gets a triple. And so now he's standing on third. And he does knock in Gibson. And that's the first hit that Parsons has allowed. And there's a man 90 feet away with Daryl Evans up. And he gets a 4-4 batting left, and that's going to be a fly to center. The center fielder for the Brewers is a 2-E-11. That is a 6 I'm going to guess it's an out, and it is a fly ball B, and he is out. But they do get one run. Detroit does manage to get one run in the fourth, so let's go get that one. It is three to one, and Johnny Briggs is up for the Brew, the brew Crew. He gets a 2-6, and that's going to be a walk. So Johnny Briggs with a leadoff walk to, that Morris issues. That's a second walk by Morris. Paul Ratliff has power against righties. Gets a 6-4 batting left, and that's going to be a walk. So they get the first two guys on. Morris apparently not very good against lefties. as that is his third walk. Two runners are on with nobody out, and Roberto Payne up. Roberto Payne gets a 3-3, which is a foul out to the catcher, so there's one down. Andy Costco is up. One down, two runners on. Key situation, he gets a 5-7 batting right, and that is going to be a strikeout. Morris with a key strikeout, and now they're down to Ted Kubiak with two down and two on. And he gets a 1-8 is a single, and it's a, it's a plain single, so I can send the lead runner. The lead runner is Briggs. He is a running 1-14, which would be 1-16, with the the fact that it was this that it's there's two outs in the inning and uh going to left field and the left fielder's arm for the tigers is a zero so it's a one to 16 scoring and he does easily score and um 
and the runner on first goes to, uh, no, he stops at second. So, um, they score, they do score a key run here. Johnny Briggs comes home for the fourth run for the Brewers. Morris giving up an, yet another hit and yet another run. And um, and Red Auerbach, or Rick Auerbach is the batter. He gets a 1-7. That is a fly ball to center field. But the, uh, the, the Brewers match the run that the Tigers got in the fourth, in their half of the fourth. And so they now lead this game by the score of 4-1. to one. So the, uh, the Brewers are determined to bring home a win in this mismatch Monday. As we go to the top of the fifth with the Tigers batting. And... Um, Sending up Howard Johnson. And he gets a 5, well, yeah, 5 3. And he's batting left, and that's a fly to right. The right fielder is a 4 E4. That is a 15. 15 and 4 is a single. So Howard Johnson is aboard with a hit. Parsons allowing only his second hit, and that was mainly because there was a poor outfielder in the outfield. Larry Herndon is the batter. And what happened to the dice? Is it back here? All right. Um, we're going to get another dice to step in for it. And that's going to be a 5-6 batting right. And that's going to be a ground ball third base B. And so now Herndon is on first base. And Johnson was out at second. And Lou Whitaker is up with one down. And that is a 5-5. Five, five, and he's batting left. And that's going to be a strikeout. Parsons, that's his fourth strikeout of the game. He's pitching a good game here for the Brewers. Alan Trammell is the batter. He gets a 5-6 batting right, and that's going to be a ground ball third base. So he's out. And the uh, Tigers get nothing in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning with a score 4-1. The Tigers are behind, and now the... Uh, Brewers are batting in the bottom of the fifth with Tommy Harper, their leadoff. And he gets a 3-10, which is going to be a pop-out to shortstop. One down and Theobald. Up. Theobald with a 5-5 batting right. That's going to be a ground ball second base. And Dave May is the batter. And Dave May gets a 4-7, batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout. Morris striking out his fifth guy. Morris is still out there, even though the Tigers are losing 4-1. We go to the uh, top of the six with the Tigers batting and sending Chet Lemon up. That is a 6-9, batting right. And uh, that's going to be a single. Chet Lemon with a base hit. Third hit allowed by Parsons. Again, pitching quite well here against the world champion Tigers. Kurt Gibson with the batter. He gets a 3-4. That's a fly ball right field. One away. Lance Parrish, the catcher, is batting. He gets a 1-7. That's a strikeout. 
Man, I'm telling you, Parsons is on top of his game. And Barbero Garbano is out there. And he gets a 2-6, and that's going to be a ground ball third. No runs again come across for Detroit um, in the top of the sixth. And we go to the bottom of the sixth. With Johnny Briggs batting. And he gets a 1-5, and that's going to be a strikeout. Morris striking out his sixth guy. Paul Ratliff is up. Paul Ratliff gets a 3-7, and that's a strikeout. And Roberto Pena. Roberto Pena gets a 1-8, and that's a ground ball to the shortstop. 6-3. Top of the seventh inning, um, Daryl Evans is the batter. I'm going to take a look at what these, these guys got on the bench and see if there's any defensive replacements I want to make for the uh, Brewers. Um, yes, at least one. Um, Bill Voss will go into right field for Andy Costco. That's one change. Um, Tom Matchick is going to go in for Roberto Pena at third base. And Ellie Rodriguez is going to go in at catcher for Paul Ratliff. So those are the defensive replacements for the Brewers. But Parsons is going to Parsons is staying out there and pitching. And Daryl Evans is the batter. And he gets a 3-5, which is going to be a ground ball to first base. One down, Howard Johnson up. Howard Johnson gets a 2-10. That is going to be a fly ball to right. And Larry Herndon is the batter. And he gets a 1-7, and he's going to strike out. So Parsons strikes out his seventh guy, and we go to the top of the eighth inning, uh, where the uh, the Brewers did not get any, or uh, the uh, Tigers. No, this this is the this is the bottom of the seventh. Bottom of the seventh. Right. Yeah, okay. And the Tigers got nothing in the seventh inning. We're in the bottom of the seventh. Bill Voss is the batter. He came, he, you'll remember, came in defensively um, for Costco. So we will write him in. And he is coming in batting in the seventh inning. 
and he gets a 2-7, and that is going to be a line out to first base. One down, and Kubiak is up. Kubiak gets a 4-7 batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout. Morris with his seventh strikeout, and Rick Auerbach is the batter. And he gets a 1-9, and that's going to be a ground ball to third. And the Brewers get nothing in the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth with uh, the... Um, well, the Tigers batting. Parsons is going to come out against my better judgment. I'm going to take him out after seven innings pitched. And we will go to the bullpen for the Brewers. And we will bring in... Uh, yeah, we're going to bring in Ken Sanders. Ken Sanders, in 1971, just a reliever, pitched 136 innings, allowed 111 hits, and had a 191 earned run average, but he was 7-12. and 12. So he's going to come in to pitch. And uh, Lou Whitaker is the uh, guy that gets to face him. And he gets a 3-2. Sanders is a righty, so 3-2 is going to be a pop-out to first base. One down, and Alan Trammell is the batter. He gets a 2-9, and that's going to be a ground ball to short. And Chet Lemon is up. And Chet Lemon gets a 2 11. That's a ground ball short. So, no runs for the Tigers in the eighth. They're only going to have one more inning to try to, uh, to, try to come back here. They will take, uh, the Tigers will take Morris out of the game. He pitched seven. Uh, and in his seven innings, he allowed three hits, but walked three and gave up uh, a home run, which was the bulk of the four runs that he allowed while he was in. And they're going to bring in Willie Hernandez. Willie Hernandez in 1984 was 9 and 3 with a 192 earned run average. And he's going to face the top of the uh, Brewers order again, Tommy Harper. Surprising how many times he's led off an inning as the leadoff hitter for the team. He gets a 4-5 batting right, and that is going to be a single. So Tommy Harper's aboard again. And they are going to keep the pressure on. They're going to try to steal with Tommy Harper. He does make it. He is an A. Let, well, let's see. I don't know. He's a negative 3. It's a 1-5. to five. No, he doesn't make it. He's gunned. He is gunned out, trying to steal. So there's one down. Not that it really matters. I mean, they've got a big lead here, and the Tigers can't seem to do anything against this um, Brewer pitching. Theobald is the batter. He gets a 2-8, and that is going to be a single, unfortunately. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it still is. It's a single. Um, so they would have had two guys on. They would have had something going here. Hernandez has given up two hits on the first two batters he's faced. Dave May is the batter. He gets a 3-7, and that is going to be a fly ball to center field. And there's two down, and brings up Johnny Briggs. Johnny Briggs with a 2-10, and that's going to be a walk. 
So the Brewers have two guys on. They have something going here now. Hernandez walking his first batter. And uh, Ellie Rodriguez. Now, Ellie Rodriguez came in defensively for, um, for Ratliff. And we will mark down that he is batting in the eighth. And he gets a 1-7, and that is going to be a walk. So the bases are loaded now for the Brewers. They would have already, they would have had a run off of Hernandez, which is really strange, but they would have if they hadn't tried to steal with Tommy Harper. Matchick, and Matchick came in uh, defensively, you might remember, for Roberto Pena. So we'll mark him down in the book. Batting in the eighth. Defensive replacement at third base. And he gets a 5-5 five, five batting left. And that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is a 1-E-18. That is a 12. And uh, that is going to be on the E-18. That's going to be on the air rating. And that is a 5. E-18-5 is going to be an E1. And so a rare error by Whitaker allows a run to come in. And the Brewers would have had two runs here. Now, I don't know if it's going to matter because the Tigers are really going to have to get a lot of runs here already. Um, and uh, Bill Voss is the batter. His second at bat of the game, he gets a 110, and that is going to be a fly, or wait a minute, it's going to, no, it's going to be a single to center field. Bill Voss with a single, that scores Briggs. Another run comes in, uh, they're not going to try to stretch it with the other guy, with the next guy, and Ted Kubiak is up. And he gets a 3-6, and that is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. So he goes out 5-3. Um, to three. And I believe that that is, that is three outs. But not before the Brewers strike for two more runs. And now lead this game six to one, incredibly. See, this is what you can do when you have a good pitcher on the mound and you follow it up with the other good pitchers. <laughs> so we're in the top of the ninth. Um, the, the Tigers have to have five runs right here to keep the game going. Uh, Ken Sanders is still out there. Kirk Gibson is the batter. He gets a three, two, which is going to be a strikeout plus injury. Right now, we don't really care about that because I don't think we're going to have to end up replacing him. Uh, 13, he would be out of the game. But I don't, like I said, I don't think that's going to matter. There's one down, and Lance Parrish is up. That is a 4 7. 4 7 against a righty, and that is going to be a fly ball to center field. And they're down to their last out, and it's Barbero Garbay. And he gets a 5-9 batting right, and that's going to be a fly to right. And that is it. And, man, this was a convincing, um, convincing win by the Brewers, by the underdog team here, as they win the game by the score of 6-1 over the 84 Tigers. The 84 Tigers looked hapless. They looked lost and hapless against this hapless 71 Brewers team. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.